Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to do a quick demonstration on a butterfly a speed inking, if you want to call it that. But more importantly, stay with the video because I'm going to show you how um, basically your art's really important to you. And I'm going to show you how you can take your art pieces or your assets, as they call them in the video game industry, and use them to your advantage and collect them and build up a big portfolio so down the road you're going to just have all sorts of things to deal with and it's going to add a lot to uh, your art and your collections and your how valuable it is for you and maybe a future career. Anyway, here we go. Hope you're having a great day and please like and subscribe and share it with your friends and just enjoy yourself. Take care. So this butterfly is also called the White Admiral and it ranges uh, in a lot of North America going as far north as the uh, tree line in the Arctic which is that's pretty impressive if you think about it so it's actually around my house I think I've seen a couple um, butterflies aren't there's not a lot of interesting about them being insects in my opinion um, I'm probably gonna get slammed for saying that however uh, a couple of neat things about this this butterfly species in particular doesn't hang around flowers for its food it actually goes to fruit rotted fruit and fruit trees as well as uh, <laughs> animal dung so uh, I wouldn't be kissing these things on the lips anytime soon other than that um, let's listen to a little bit of music before we get into a quick conversation about using your art assets and building your portfolio here we go You can see by the title, Save Your Art Assets. An asset is defined as a piece of your artwork that you save in your portfolio. And this sounds simple enough, right? A lot of you watching this video right now are already doing this. But the question is, well, why should I save them? And you should save them so that you can build up your own personal database of art to use in the future. And this would be great for a graphic artist, an illustrator, school projects, and even setting them up to sell to other people who may want to incorporate them in their own projects. Here's an example I asked my cute friend Miriam to let me take a picture of her with her eyes crossed. I then added the digital version of the butterfly I just created in this video and placed it on her nose. You can see how valuable this butterfly asset has now become, in this case and many others. Let's try something else with this asset. In this picture, all I did was take a lilac and I added three of the same butterflies we inked today to the picture. Now, I know you know what I'm going with now, but in this next picture, you see, I just added two more butterflies. I changed the color saturation on them and now it looks like different colored butterflies. So. Look at your assets that you have today. See what you can do with yours. And you know what the fun thing is? It may seem like a lot of work, but if you start today and start putting your assets together in folders and butterflies in one and birds in another and manga characters in another, I can tell you in one year from now, you're gonna have a big library. But you know what? In five years from now, you're gonna have a huge library and you can just keep building on it and building on it. You can throw the ones out that you don't like anymore because as you do this, you're also going to be getting better. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Say hi to your friends and take care of yourselves. Talk to you soon.